So now I'm going to form my bustier normally. I'm going to pretend forming my bustier normally. And this bustier is going to run all the way to the center front. I'm going to make it come stop at the chest line. This is the chest line. Okay, so please don't get yourself confused. I'm going to run the curve of my bustier running into there. So this is what I'm going to do. I will change my marker from this line meeting up this line. I'm going to draw my bustier. So I'm building my bustier right on the strap. But then when we are cutting it off, we cut off the strap separately. I believe you understand what I'm trying to uh, explain. So this is it. Okay, I'll just draw it. Um, I'll just draft it the normal way we used to draft. Okay, so that is the bust here. And here on this line and on this line, that is our contour line. So from here to here, I go in by 0 0.75. And from here to here, I come out by 0 0.75. And I'm going to blend my bust here line, as you can see. So I've blended my bustier line. These are all my bustier line. But remember, the strap is built inside it. All right, so we are done with this part. We want to contour the underbust. This is the center front. So for the contouring of the underbust, from the center front, I take my underbust circumference divided by four. So whatever I have remaining, I'm going to share 0.25 here and the rest of it I'll share it right here so I'm going to blend um, I'm going to position my ruler as you can see I'm positioning it like this and then I'll bring it back to the waistline and I'll bring it back like that so all of this is going to go up so we'll come over right here to contour what we have right here. So remember, I have to bring this down as down as 1.5. That is from this line. So from this line, I'll also come down by 1.5. And I'll bring in my pattern ruler. Okay. You can see how I place my pattern ruler. I place it right there as you can see and once that is done the next thing I'm going to do I'll also place it this way and then I'm going to connect from the center front so you can see we have part of the strap I want you to note the strap this is the strap this area right here is the strap going into uh, the bust here so from here to here i'm going to come out by 0 0.75 and here 0 0.75 and i'll be connecting right here and i'll connect right here this is it i'm going to cut them off and i'm going to contour my under bust okay so normally it should be equal 0 0.25 and 1.25 so i contour and i flip my ruler like this i contour once that is done i bring this back to this part and bring this back to this part okay all right so that is that and we are done so it's time for us to start cutting off what we have before we close up our boss that so this can actually be technical if you don't look well you might have issues making the, this bust here so when you are cutting off you are going to cut on your strap that is why we build our strap we are cutting right on the strap. Take note. So you can see that part of the bust here we drafted has gone. Okay. So I come to the shoulder seam line. And then I'm going to cut my strap again. 
I'm cutting this strap. In fact, I'm going to cut out the strap because the strap will be joined back. Can you see? So it's, it will be joined back. So that is why you need to build your strap first. So I call this part my upper strap and this part my lower strap. Okay, so when we'll be sewing it, this is the part that will be joining the back bodies. Alright, so I will now continue my cutting from my waistline right now. And I cut what I have on the side. So right now I'm cutting my the armhole into can you see that? Okay. So as it stands right now, I'll bring back this trap. This trap is going to be sewn like this after our bust stick. Can you see that? Can you see? So this is how it is sewn and embellished. You can see that. So that is why you need to draft your strap first. Okay, let me keep it this way. 